Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week includes the 9th of February and that is the day that I first saw Wicked for the first time, obviously. First saw Wicked for the first time. Obviously not of this year though, of 2012. So I have now been a Wicked fan for six years. I had to think about that. That's really bad. I keep on forgetting that we're in 2018. Six years. Wow. I thought to mark the occasion, I'd do um, quite a few Wicked related videos this week. And for one of them, I thought it might be quite fun to show you through my collection of Wicked merchandise and souvenirs and related things because I've obviously picked up quite a bit of stuff over the years. Actually going through it all, I was like, I'm sure I'm missing stuff. I think I've like, either given some stuff to friends over the years or I might have just gotten rid of it. Um, I've been through phases of like, I'm a fangirl and then I need to chill out and not have so much wicked stuff and back to, I'm a fangirl. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff, but thankfully not as much as I thought there would be, but there's still a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to try and go through in some sort of order um, and I've also tried to sort of organize bits here and there. Kind of makes sense for this to be the first thing, but obviously it's the book of Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I had a copy of this like obviously years ago when I first became a fan of the show and then I don't know where that is. I've moved quite a lot in the last six years. So I'm not sure where my original copy is, but this is the copy that Wicked actually sent me at Christmas time. So if you're not already a follower of my channel, um, yeah, just for Christmas, I got an email from the actual like Wicked team, the PR team, and they said they wanted to send me a box of Christmas goodies which obviously I said yes to, and I did actually film a video showing you what they sent me. So if you want to go and watch that, it'll be um, in the little cards up here and link down below for you to check out. They sent me a copy of Wicked. So yeah, I've not read it in a long time. Um, I would quite like to read it again at some point soon when my life kind of calms down, hopefully maybe. I don't know, a little bit. <laughs> Maybe do a video about the differences between the book and the musical, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've read the book, if you're a fan of the show, because they're very, very different, I think anyway. Sticking on the sort of print-based products, I've got a lot of programs from seeing Wicked over the years. I obviously don't buy one every time I go see the show, that would be ridiculous, but I've got, I'm pretty sure one for every cast that I've seen, at least one, maybe two in some cases, one that's like signed, one that's not signed. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I've not ordered them. I'm kind of annoyed that I haven't. I might quickly do that just so we can go in order because I feel like if I don't go in chronological order, that's going to annoy me. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna order them quickly. Okay, I think I've organized all the big programs. So they are in order, hopefully. So this is the old program design for Wicked. It's different now. So obviously this is from 2012 and it's when I saw um, Rachel Tucker, Gina Beck and Matt Willis. So I think this is the clean version of, oh no, this might be the signed version. Back when I used to stage door and actually get everyone's signatures. So yeah, Rachel, Gina, Matt Willis, Julie Legrand, who was actually in a recent episode of Call the Midwife, which I was watching today. Um, Desmond Barrett, Lily Flynn, Christopher Howell, and Adam Pettigrew. So this is my first cast of Wicked, and yeah, that's the programme. I would show you, but if I show you all the photos, it's gonna take ages. They used to have this cute design um, on the like, front and back pages of the programme, which they don't have anymore but I always used to quite like that, the little designs here that don't exist anymore. Um, so yeah, that must be my signed version. And then I've probably got a clean version as well, because obviously when I first started seeing the show, it got obsessive, like you have no idea. Um, yeah, so that's 
a clean version of the program as well. Nice photos of Rachel as Elf Bubba. The catfight photo that always gets photoshopped just to add, especially on the Glinders. Like, I swear, they always just photoshop someone else onto Gina's body. It's very weird. The next cast that we had was Louise Dearman as Elphaba. Gina stayed on as Glinda, but Louise took over as Elphaba. Oh, and also Ben Freeman took over. So there we've got Louise as Elphaba. I didn't love, like Louise is such a fantastic singer. Um, there's obviously Gina. I love like seeing her in concerts and various shows. And there's Ben Freeman, but I just, did not click with her alphabet and I think it didn't help that obviously going from being obsessed with Rachel and seeing the show with Rachel and then just seeing someone new in general I was like eh, nope <laughs> I'm actually gonna put these like side by side with the old program just to see if there was any difference if there was any new photo taken for this yeah so they've literally just photoshopped so this is so this is Gina and Louise. Sorry, this is a really bad way to show it, but Gina and Louise, and then Gina and Rachel. It's just a bit lazy. Just take the new, you're gonna have to take the new photo of the new alphabet. Do it with the Glinda as well. <laughs> yeah, we've always joked about that in the, in the community about the fact that they just don't take a new catfight photo scene, photo, catfight scene, photo. Wow. The next program I have is of Willamine. Obviously this is not the front cover, this is the back cover. The front cover is still the same old school style. And yeah, it's Willamine and Savannah, as you can see here. And this is when Jeremy Taylor joined the cast, yes. So there's Savannah with Glinda. I'm just gonna show you that again, Willamine. Um, again, Willamine, not a huge fan. So it was like not a great couple of years for me in terms of the London casts. And then in 2013, yeah, it must have been 2013, the Wicked tour started. And I mean, the design is the same, but as you can tell, it's a lot, it's a lot glossier. And this was with Nikki Davis-Jones as Elphaba, who I saw as when she was standby in the London production. Um, and she was so good. So I was thrilled when they announced that she'd be doing the tour. And she did the tour with Emily Tierney, who I will show you. And they were great together. I really, really enjoyed seeing the show on tour. Obviously this was the first time that I saw the show, not in London. Um, yeah, I saw it first at Milton Keynes Theatre. So yeah, I saw the tour and I've seen the tour quite a few times since. But yeah, this was the first, the first Wicked UK tour, which was really, really exciting. They also had small, um, like little versions. So in London, they have just the one big program, Souvenir Brochure. On tour, they've got the little kind of, they call them house programs, little house programs. And then as well, the Souvenir Brochures. So this is from when I saw it at Milton Keynes, um, yeah, you can see, does it say it there? Milton Keynes Theatre, which is in my home county area. So, and I've worked there before, it's a nice theatre. So yeah, that's my little program from seeing it in Milton Keynes. I really kind of calmed down on seeing Wicked over the sort of, like between really like 2014 to 2016. I did still see it in London a few times here and there, but I don't seem to have my programs here. I don't, I must, I must have programs, but I just don't know where they are, which is great. Um, so I'm just using the ones that I've got with me. And I did see it on tour again. I saw it at the Liverpool Empire Theatre. So this is the program from there. This is when Ashley Gray had taken over from Nikki Davis-Jones. I think this was, I, I'm always confused as to whether it was still the first tour and it just continued. I think it was. Um, but yeah, Ashley Gray had taken over, but I didn't see Ashley. I saw Jackie Hughes because she was the standby. So obviously I wanted to see her. And I believe that Liverpool was the first time that she went on, I think. I don't know if I saw her first show exactly, but I think this was at the end, like this was the end of 2014. Oh, I can't remember. All the years just roll into one, to be honest. But yeah, so this was 
Obviously it says there Ashley Gray, but it was Jackie Hughes. I've also got a random Wicked Playbill, which is not from when I saw the show on Broadway. I think a friend must have picked it up for me. It's from when Lindsay Mendes, um, Katie Rose Clark and Derek Klenner were in the cast. I would have loved to have seen that. Sad that it's not actually my Playbill, but yeah, it's just something I have in my collection because a friend picked it up for me, which is very nice. I have actually seen Wicked on Broadway a couple of times though. My first time seeing it, the Playbill is ruined, sadly. It's, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's ruined on the edges, which makes me really, really sad. But yeah, this is when Rachel Tucker was in the cast. I can't believe I didn't get her to sign this. Surely, I, I don't know, maybe I just didn't. So this was when Rachel went into the Broadway production and I saw her in her first week. I didn't plan it. I'd booked the holiday and then it was announced that she was joining the cast like a week before I was there. And I was like, yes. <laughs> And also I got to see Cara Lindsay and she is just fantastic as well. So I had a great time. And so yeah, that's my first, my first wicked visit on Broadway. And yeah, my first playbill from it, which is ruined and I'm really annoyed, but it's fine. I am definitely missing programs because the next lot of programs that I have after that is when Rachel came back <laughs> to London. So that's 2016, which is now technically two years ago. Um, yes, so this is when, I mean, I can't remember when exactly the program design changed, but it looks like this now. Um, you can't really see in this light, but it obviously says Wicked here. And it's very much like, it's, it's way more kind of, luxurious I'd say with the sort of velvety velvety design here um I really like the new program design actually it was obviously a bit a bit weird when they came in when you're so used to the old design but I enjoy how glossy they are and yeah it's just nice yeah Rachel came back Susie joined and Oliver Savile was in the cast so that's Rachel and yeah you've got the guys there Sorry, I'm not being too great with showing you all the programs, but not gonna lie, it's quite an effort to do. And this video is already gonna be long enough as it is. So yeah, this is the generic program that they had when they came back, but obviously Rachel came back for the 10th anniversary. So they had a special program for that. By the way, in case you're wondering, the program design on the back to change to this, which I'm pretty sure is a photo of Willemine, because let's be real, they spend all of their money on will of mine so this was the the back of the program for a long time before that it was the time dragon which i can show you for a long time it was this photo of the time dragon um i think for as long as like from 2012 up until that reshoot with will of mine this was the background and then this is the special 10th anniversary program which obviously not as velvety more cogs very magical, very nice, celebrating 10 years. Um, I really like this. And then on the back, it's just more of the cogs, which I really like. I think that looks really cool. It wasn't um, cast focused. So this obviously, it, this is more just about the show in general and the this like how it began. And yeah, it's just, it's more of a story time <laughs> through the show. Um, which is which is good fun, and I like how they've got um, they've got a timeline going through obviously the history of Wicked. One thing that I really like is bear with bear with. I mean they've got massive gorgeous photos going through all of the alphabets. So obviously Adina, Kerry, and then we've got Alexia and Rachel, and then Louise and Willemine and Jennifer and Emma. Obviously this is just like the London production one before anyone says, where are the American alphabets? Where's everyone else? This is the London production. And then they've got really lovely photos of just Kerry. Why not? And then it does the same going through the Glinders. So Helen, Diane, Louise, and then Gina, Savannah, Susie. The Glinders don't get as many pages. And yeah, it's just a really lovely sort of um, more information brochure rather than 
cast base oh and they do the fieros as well but they don't get as many mages either <laughs> just two for them um oh, this is my like my dream to to take like photos and videos like this please wicked you've sent me presents now let me do this thanks <laughs> it's a very nice 10th anniversary program the next program that i have is from the new uk tour cast i saw them in zurich so this is going to be the same program like souvenir brochure around the tour but yes they've obviously stuck with the cog design which i like i'm happy with but this has amy ross and helen wolf who i really enjoyed so that's um helen as glinda and let me find a photo of Amy. Doo, doo, doo. I'm not a huge fan of that photo, I'm not gonna lie. I really, I like her off the photo here. I mean, obviously it's an elf the photo, but you know, I like the Wizard of Eye photos. So yeah, that's the tour program signatures, which is quite nice. I managed to meet Amy, Helen and Kim after the show in Zurich, which was really nice. And Amy especially, she asked, she was like, do you want me to write it to you in your program? And I was like, yeah, all right, why not? And then I said, oh, what's your name? And I said, Rakaya. And then they were all like, whoa. <laughs> Thanks, I have a weird name. <laughs> so yeah, she was really nice, bless her. But like, dear Rakaya. Um, so I thought that was really cute. I can't wait to see her off for again. I'm really excited. But I also want to see Nikki, Nikki Bentley. So I'm gonna spend a lot of money on that tour, I think. Not a lot, but I'm just gonna be traveling a lot for it. So yeah, that's the Wicked Tour current program. And then finally, my goodness, this video is going to be so long. We come to the current London programme, which hasn't changed in terms of design. Um, this is the old back cover. They've now changed this, and it's a really nice shot for, um, of For Good from this same angle, but obviously For Good. And I've not got a programme with that yet. I'm mean, curious, actually. I don't suppose the tour will have changed their programme for that back, but... Yeah, the London production definitely has. And this is obviously with Alice Fern and Sophie Evans. So yeah, that's what the inside cover looks like, which is very nice. And then the details were. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you through that one because I've spent too much time on programs as it is. I also have a couple of random ones. So this is a program from the Australian production. Um, which a friend sent to me very kindly and she actually got it signed, bless her heart. So I've got, funnily enough, um, Susie's autograph in this, obviously from when she was in the Australian production. Um, oh, just right here, she was born in Aberdeen. How funny, because she's currently doing company in Aberdeen, that's funny. And it's got Gemma Ricks, but not her, not her autograph, which is fine, because obviously I've never seen her, so it's not, it's not a big deal. But yeah, I just thought that's quite funny because obviously now I've seen Susie quite a few times in Wicked. So it feels good. I feel like I'm allowed to have this now. As well as the Australian um, programme, I've also got a really random US tour programme because I picked it up um, in Washington DC last year just because I saw it and it was discounted and I thought I can't leave that. I think it was only like ten dollars or something maybe even cheaper maybe it was five dollars um so yeah this is what that one looks like i really like the design of this actually it does it does seem a little bit dated in comparison with how our london one looks now but i like it the national tour programs are quite similar to how the 10th anniversary one is set out in terms of it's not cast specific it more just kind of goes through the history of the show so it does um it does have a cast list within it. So this is that cast list here. So this is the cast that had Jessica Vosk and Amanda Jane Cooper, who I actually saw on Broadway the other week because she's now Wicked in the Broadway company. She's now Wicked. She's now Glinda in the Broadway company of Wicked. Losing my mind, talking too much about Wicked. So yeah, this is a very generic, um, program again it's got that timeline and general photos who is that oh that's Helen Dallimore so original London Glinda sorry this is this filming is not it's not perfect I'm sorry 
um, and then it just yeah show you loads of photos um, wow that photo of Kristen is like so oh my god the bubble dress looks so flat look at that how flat does the bubble dress look also the quality of the photo is awful Thank God technology has improved. <laughs> but anyway, it just goes through. Obviously this is the, what the curtain looks like. And it just, yeah, goes through the show. Yeah. Has a fun map at the back of where the show has been, um, what years. So that's quite fun as well. I'm not sure if that's focused, but you get the gist. And then obviously I've got another playbill. The playbill design has not changed at all, I don't think. I'm gonna compare. Oh, I take it back, it has changed ever so slightly. So it's now, so this is the old one and this is the new one. That is the only difference, the border. Which is kind of nice, I guess, because it is, it is very iconic, obviously, but it'd be nice to shake things up, wouldn't it? Oh well. With our programs in London, if a standby is on, they give you a full big page slip rather than just like a little paper slip that you get, for example, in the Broadway playbills. For most of our productions, the programs are just the one thing you get. So if you find out, if you're finding out obviously the cast information, you need to know who was on, especially if it's an Elphaba or a Glinda. So I have quite a lot of these standby slips. The majority are Elphaba and Glinda, but there are some people that have covered the roles. For example, if, if someone's been ill quite consistently and then they, they've been covering the role a lot, they do the right thing and actually get them a full standby slip, which is really nice. So I've got quite a few of those. I've got... Um, Christopher Howell as the wizard. He covered the wizard quite a lot one summer. I've got one for Nikki Davis-Jones who covered Rachel Tucker. So when I was first seeing the show, she was the second alphabet that I ended up seeing because obviously she was Rachel's standby. Chloe Taylor was the second Glinda that I saw because she was standby. Um, so I managed to see her and Nikki on quite a few times, which was really nice. And yes, that is hers. Also in the first year of seeing Wicked, I managed to see Sophie Linda Lee as Glinda. So yeah, that's her one. They're not as overexposed as it looks, but because I've got quite a big light above the camera, their faces look quite blown out. But this is, yeah, Sophie Linda Lee's standby slip. And then we've got one of my favorite alphabets. We've got Hayley Gallivan, who was in the second company of Wicked that I saw. She was standby for Louise Dearman and I loved her off her. She was fantastic, so yes, I have hers as well, obviously. Jumping way forward in time, again, I'm sure I had way more of these standby slips. Maybe I was savage and I just got rid of them, I cannot remember. But yeah, the latest one I have is for Laura Pick. And as you can see, they've changed, they've put the, her photo in portrait, the, all the other ones are landscape, so it was shaking things up a bit. And yeah, Laura is the current standby for Elphaba and I adore her Elphaba as well. So, yay. <laughs> Sticking with the sort of standby slip-esque things for now. Um, when I saw Wicked in Zurich last November, they had, these weren't in the program, but they were like available to pick up in the foyer. It took me a while to figure out what these were, but they are, um, little information sheets and they are in German to explain the show because obviously the the tour that was in Zurich it was performed in English so for anyone who couldn't understand English completely this helped them obviously follow along with the show because it gives little descriptions you'll see the text in green are the songs so they could look at this and be like, okay, this song is playing, this is what's going on. So this is, yeah, act one, and this is act two. So as you can see, there's a nice thank goodness photo. This is Alice as Elphaba, um, and that is um, Willemine and Savannah there. So I thought this was such a nice idea. Where's Alice? There she is. Um, yeah, I thought this was really lovely because obviously you want to try and make it make it inclusive for the audience that you're playing to 
so helps them out with a bit of information. Also Wicked related, back in, when was it, 2013, the company of Wicked at the time put on a charity concert. Um, it was at the other palace when it was called the St. James and this is like a poster they were selling from it and it was signed by everyone who did the concert. So that's another nice little wicked thing that I have. Oh my God, that was like 30 minutes on the programs alone. How the hell am I gonna edit down this video? Okay, so I'm just gonna move on to stuff that I've bought at the show and then I'll go on to stuff that I've either been given or have acquired randomly. Right, I'm gonna try and race through things now because I don't wanna like have an hour long video because this is probably what it's gonna be. So I have a Wicked lanyard. Is it gonna focus? Is it going to focus? I don't think it is. Let's do this. Yes, Wicked lanyard, which I don't know if they sell still. And it says Defy Gravity. And I keep a whole load of key rings on there, but I've obviously taken them off so they wouldn't be too annoying in the video. I bought that in the peak fangirl days. Also, at the peak of my Wicked fangirl days, I bought this little key ring, which again, I don't think they sell anymore. Are we gonna focus? Yeah, so it says obviously Wicked, and I don't know if you can really tell, but it says London in the W. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore. But yeah, I bought obviously this one in London, obs and when i first saw wicked in new york i saw that they had the same but it's got the new york skyline and obviously it says new york in the w so wicked london and wicked new york sorry i'm having a hard time filming this obviously <laughs> So yeah, those are two keyrings that I have. I have a couple of Wicked mugs. This one, it says Wicked on this side, and then it has the green elixir bottle. This is a fairly new mug I picked it up in Zurich. I think they now have it in London. It's funny, like a lot of stuff that is on Broadway in the merchandise is like slowly trickling over here, and then some things I picked up in Zurich that were like Zurich only and now they're trickled into London. So it is nice though that London does get a lot of new merchandise all the time. Because imagine if the merchandise was the same now as it was when I started seeing the show. They know that they've got a lot of fans that come back time and time again. You're gonna try and milk as much money out of them as you can, aren't you? So, <laughs> so anyway, that mug I picked up in Zurich because I really liked the, the green elixir bottle on it. It was something very different. This mug I picked up in New York City because obviously it says New York City and it's got the skyline. And yeah, obviously, obviously I had to buy it. Simply had to, I was forced. <laughs> On the subject of cups, I have the cups that you can get at the Broadway production. So it's got the Wicked logo and Wicked on that side. And then on this side, it says so much happened before Dorothy dropped in. So yes, I have quite a few of those from uh, the two trips that I've seen Wicked on Broadway. Sorry, I feel like I'm really rushing through this now, but I don't want to have this video too long. I'm obsessed with magnets. I love magnets. So um, last time, not the most recent time I went to New York, but the time before that, I popped into the Wicked merch store and I picked up this Wicked New York City magnet. So it's quite similar to the mug, but obviously a magnet. <laughs> it's got a bit more of the skyline and then it has Elphaba as the Statue of Liberty because why not? <laughs> on one of my recent visits to the London production, I noticed a new magnet, at least I'm fairly sure it's new. I don't remember them having one that says London on it. So I picked that up because I thought it would be nice to have one that says London, one that says New York. If I could have one for every location that I've seen the show in, I would probably buy it because I'm crazy. <laughs> and then on my most recent New York trip, when I saw Wicked again, um, I picked up this magnet because I really liked it. And I'm pretty sure I saw it on the previous trip and was tempted, but bought the other one instead. So I thought, well, this time I'll buy this magnet. Obviously it says Defy Gravity, and I just thought it's, it's a lovely design. 
so I bought it. Something else that is new to the London shop, but I picked up actually from their tour brochure that I picked up in Washington DC, is these postcards, which yeah, as I mentioned, they're now selling them at the London show. So it's these. Um, the only one that London doesn't have is this sort of generic wicked one, which is like the front of the tour program. Um, I saw, well, I picked up the program and wanted to buy it anyway because it was really cheap. And then when I realized that these were postcards, which I will inevitably put up on my wall at some point, I was like, holy moly, that's great. So it's got one that's the green elixir bottle. Let's focus. One that is the green elixir bottle over here. And then it's got one that says, um, which, which you were here. That's really hard to say when you know it should be wish you were here, which you were here. And then we've got one that, yeah, adventure, adventure awaits and hello from the Emerald City. I adore these. I'm obsessed with this design. I think it just looks so gorgeous. I'm really happy. I'm happy that they're in London. So now obviously everyone else will be able to buy them, but I'm more happy that I had them first. <laughs> Something else that I picked up in Zurich that I've still not seen anywhere else, which is very exciting is this Wicked patch. Wicked have never really had patches. So this is a first. And yes, I feel very lucky to have it. Um, I don't know if they're kind of trialing it in Zurich or, or they were trialing it. Um, I don't think they're on the tour. Um, I haven't asked any of my friends that have gone yet. Um, obviously I'll check it out when I eventually see the tour. Another thing I'm sure is very new to the London shop that I have not seen before personally is a little Wicked pin. So it's very simple obviously. It just says Wicked and then it's got the little witch on the dot of the eye. I've become obsessed with pins recently though so I had to buy it. I just, I just, I had to. <laughs> I've recently purchased a couple of tops from Wicked. I did like way back in the day, but I have no idea where they are now. Um, so I bought this one while I was in New York because obviously it says New York City. And I really liked the design of the hat there. I'm really annoyed because they've got another very cool t-shirt, uh, but I couldn't justify spending loads on another top when I literally just bought this one in September. But yeah, I'll insert a photo if I can remember to because it had a really cool design. And then also in Washington DC, I mainly picked this one up because it was super duper cheap. Um, I think it was like 10, was it $10? I've got the price on here. Yeah, it was meant to be $40 and it was reduced to 10, so I couldn't resist. This is obviously the Tor t-shirt um, and it's got the Time Dragon on it. And then it's got like loads of the tour dates on the back. Um, I mainly will just wear this one around the house. I don't think I've actually worn it around the house yet because the label's still on it. But yeah, that was $10 and I couldn't resist. Another thing I recently bought when I went to New York again to see and saw the show, uh, I didn't go to New York just to see the show, but I did see the show. Um, I got a tote bag because they were doing an offer. So it's like a plastic tote bag with the old school logo, but sort of a more modern edge and then it says wicked on this side and then you can actually i don't know if you can see on camera but it's got like the map faintly in the background which is quite cool they were doing an offer that you could get the tote bag for five dollars rather than i think like 15 if you bought something else so i did i bought that last september i went to new york and i went to the flea market and i found something very exciting if you watched my haul video from that trip you'll have already seen this but um it's green it's got green on it i'm still just obsessed with the fact that it's got green on it this is the note that alphabet receives from fiero in the show and it's signed by rachel tucker and jonah platt who i saw as fiero and obviously alphabet when I saw the show on Broadway. So that is the alphabet note, the note, the, the pre for good note. And yes, I was very happy with that purchase. I, and I still need to frame it. It's a really awkward size. So I need to, I need to really find a frame cause it's quite long. So yeah, I need to find a frame for it because this deserves to be in a frame. So that's everything that I've 
bought. Now moving on to things that I've randomly acquired slash have been given. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the posters that we were given at the 10th anniversary production. And they're very simple. They're very much like the front of the top, uh, the 10th anniversary program. So yeah, it's just a poster that says Wicked. It says at the top, celebrating 10 years. And it says at the bottom, 10th birthday performance, and that was Tuesday, the 27th of September, 2016. So thank you, Wicked, for that freebie. Very, very nice. These were just under our seats, I believe, when we got there. So yeah, that was that was cute. One more thing, actually, that I purchased. It's not, it is Wicked related, but it's not a Wicked product. Um, I recently went to Broadway Con, and they have a marketplace full of stuff. And yeah, this girl was selling her products and I just had to buy these cute alphabet pins. They're like so minimalist and adorable and I love them. I bought quite a few of these. So I'll definitely do a giveaway with one of them um, and a few other like wicked bits and bobs because that would be nice, won't it? Going back to the free stuff though, um, I've got quite a lot of free stuff from Wicked, which is lovely. I'm always happy about that. So this is like one of the most random things I own from Wicked. I entered the Wicked Young Writers Awards back in, in 2012, I think, and I won one of the sections. So they gave us a goodie bag and in that goodie bag we had some bubbles. So obviously we got pink bubbles and obviously green bubbles, <laughs> which is just so random. like. Out of all the wicked things that you could own, I own bubbles and I've never even opened these. <laughs> like, I'll just keep them until I die, I think. <laughs> I have a wicked mouse map from 2013. I also have a recent one when they did the reshoot with Alice Fern. I have a mouse map from that as well, but Lord knows where it's gone. I cannot find it at all. So I'll insert a photo, but this is from 2013. And then this is the recent one that I have somewhere that has Alice Fern on it. I think this was also in the goodie bag from the Wicked Young Writers Awards. I can't think of where else I would have picked this up or where else I would have been given it. So yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a mouse. I have a laptop. I don't need a mouse map, but I have it. I've just found another thing that I purchased way back when. It's an Oyster card holder. That was he says, defy gravity. And it says Wicked London on the back. Yeah, I have more of these somewhere, but again, who knows where. Again, from the Wicked Young Writers Award, I have a free tote bag. I love tote bags. So yeah, it says it's wicked to be green. And it's quite funny because my friend Sarah and I, we went to one of the, I think it was the Halloween shows or it's like the week of Halloween. It must've been like 2013, I think. And then we ended up being in this video they were doing. They were asking audience members to go, it's wicked to be green this Halloween. I'll try and find the video and maybe insert that clip because it's just so cringy and so funny to think that I'm just on one of Wicked's videos. Oh God. Yeah, so every time I like go through my theatre stuff because I keep like loads of programmes in this, and it just always makes me think of it like, it's wicked to be green this Halloween. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, Wicked sent me a load of free stuff, which was amazing. So they get, sent me the book. Um, it was like a mix of general sort of Christmassy related presents and then Wicked merchandise, which pff, I mean, I'm always happy with. I've spent so much on this show. I'm always gonna appreciate some free stuff. So this is another one of the things that they sent me. Um, it's one of the tea towels and says, it seems the artichoke is steamed. They have another one of these that is the green elixir quote and I wish it was that one, but I'm always happy to have free stuff. And yeah, I mean, it is cool. I'm not gonna use it as a tea towel. It's too nice to use actually as a tea towel, but you know, I'll, I'll put it somewhere, I don't know. In that package, they also sent me a Defy Gravity beanie hat, which was very nice. So here it is. It's purple, it says Defy Gravity, it's got a little bobble on the top, and I've not actually worn it out yet. I should have taken it to New York, really, because it was freezing. I think I literally said that in the video when I opened stuff. I was like, I'm gonna take it to New York, and then I totally forgot. 
in that gift box they also sent me the wicked socks put them the wrong way haven't i fake fan the socks there we go um so yeah obviously it's the logo that they joined together to make the logo cogs and monkeys and then it says wicked on the feet on the bottom i think that's everything I wasn't expecting that video to take that long. Wow, I'm gonna need to take the hat off because it's slipping off and it's annoying me. I can guarantee that once I've finished like finished this video, editing it and everything, I'll find the Alice Mouse mat, I'll find the other Oyster card holders, I'll find everything that should have gone into this video. But I feel like it's been long enough, you get the gist, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I would love to know if you own any of the same merchandise and if so, like what's your favourite bit of Wicked merchandise? I've tried to really calm down in recent years with buying stuff, but I feel like the craziness has come back recently, so I've bought quite a bit in the last year. <laughs> Whoops! But yeah, that is my haul, I guess, of all of my Wicked merchandise that I can actually Find. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Well done for sticking through it because I can imagine it's going to be quite a long one. Do give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and obviously subscribe to my channel if you also love Wicked or if you just love theatre in general. I would really appreciate it. There's going to be a few Wicked videos up this week so if you've missed out on any of them I'll have them linked in the description so you can check them out. I hope you're doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!